Happy Friday to you. Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. We are getting set for a fantastic weekend. And boy, do we deserve it. The weekends have been stinkers over the last several weeks. But that's finally going to change this weekend. First things first, today is Earth Day. And uh, every year since 1970, around this time of the year, we commemorate Earth Day. It's a good time, a good day to kind of reflect on being good stewards of the planet. It's also a good time to talk about and kind of re-familiarize ourselves with the rapidly changing climate system across planet Earth. Here's a look at what we call the climate stripes for the entire planet going back to 1850. Temperatures compared to a 30-year average period, 1971 to 2000. And as you can see, it's pretty obvious what has changed in recent decades, really, since the 70s and 80s, the warming across the globe has been dramatic. And this is on a global scale. Of course, on a smaller scale, we of course have seen warming in our area, in our state, and in our country in Youngstown since 1970. Uh, annual temperature change, 2.9 degrees, plus 2.7 for the state of Ohio and for the United States, plus uh, 2.6. Now, my kind of spiel on, uh, on climate change in our area is it's actually what is most impactful for us is the precipitation increase. Yes, we've had a temperature increase and that has some impacts on the margins, a somewhat longer growing season and things like that. But a warmer climate that can squeeze out more moisture um, creates heavier precipitation events with more frequency, um, both the annual precipitation and the kind of individual events becoming more extreme with more frequency. That, those are things that we have definitely noticed in recent times across our area. Of course, we're landlocked here. We're not near coasts, so our climate change impacts won't be as dramatic as a place like Miami or potentially New York City, places like that. But still, uh, the climate is changing, and already we've seen some impacts around here. All right, we are expecting 80 degrees plus this weekend, flirting with 80 tomorrow and then uh, more than likely exceeding 80 by, <coughs> by, by a few degrees coming up on Sunday. We're right on time with this. The 30-year average uh, date of the first 80 of the season is today. Um, that's a 30-year average. Of course, there's a lot of variation. Last year, we had a pretty early, early one on April the 7th, and uh, in 2012, we had one on March the 20th. But then two years ago, in 2020, we waited until May 18th to have our first 80 of the season. So 80-degree uh, uh, temperature is not uncommon at this time of the year. We should be right on schedule this weekend. Well, today was just about as textbook of an April 22nd as you can draw up. Very close to average on both the low end and the high end. In fact, we were right at average for our morning low at 40, and we were one above average this afternoon with a high of 64. The average is 63. The record's today 83 and a bone-chilling 20. All right, we actually had a couple of sneaky raindrops, uh, kind of unexpected, uh, late this afternoon. A lot of dry air in the lower levels of the atmosphere to overcome, but some of these showers did overcome that drier air and gave us a couple hundredths of an inch worth of rain. In some places, this was not much more than sprinkle activity. We are expecting a higher risk of wet weather as we head through the overnight tonight, and our warm front, which is out here, tracks our way. In the meantime, severe weather lining up along the front range of the Rockies out into the high plains. Also, very high fire danger threat today in a lot of the southwest out into the plains with strong winds and very dry air, leading to lots of wildfire problems in Colorado and New Mexico and uh, places like that. Back here at home, best chance for wet weather tonight will be a few hours after midnight, say between 2 a.m. and about 6 a.m. Uh, by the time most of us are up and around Saturday morning, the shower should just be about out of here. And once the last of these stray showers leaves us, all systems are go for a fantastic weekend. A mostly sunny sky Saturday afternoon. Leave the windows open Saturday night. Uh, temperatures will only drop into the upper 50s to around 60. And a good deal of sunshine for Sunday. I mean, just fantastic stuff for the weekend. But then some changes as we head towards Monday. Of course, here comes our cold front. And while we are going to allow for showers at just about any point on Monday, they may be most numerous in the afternoon. The afternoon's also when we could uh, squeeze out a thunderstorm out of this approaching cold front. And this is a pretty strong front. Uh, we're going to go from a June preview right back to March as we head towards the middle of next week. But just a quick review of the weekend. 79 tomorrow, 83 Sunday. This is not record territory either day, but it is, of course, well above the average high of about 64 degrees. Temperatures compared to average next 10 days. It gets pretty grisly next week. 
20 degrees warmer than average on Sunday, 19 degrees cooler than average by Wednesday. And Tuesday night into Wednesday, I'm not going to be surprised if some places have a sleet pellet or a snowflake or two with a cold northwesterly flow picking up some uh, moisture off the Great Lakes. And notice we stay below the average all the way through the end of next week into next weekend and actually probably into at least the first week of May. May is going to start on a chilly note. Yesterday I talked about the initial May outlook, May featuring, or, or favoring I should say, cooler than average temperatures and wetter than average conditions. Now that doesn't mean every day is going to be wet and cool, but the month as a whole may shake out that way. Does that mean that's going to continue into the summer, at least the, the cool uh, temperatures being favored? Not necessarily. Uh, the current Climate Prediction Center outlook for meteorological summer, June, July, and August, coast to coast pretty much, Warmer than average conditions are favored, especially centered over the Rockies and New England. The odds are not quite as high here locally, but uh, at this point, uh, there's just not much to, to point towards a significantly cooler than average summer. Probably the coolest scenario is we're pretty close to average for the summer, but if I were a betting man at this early stage, I would say that uh, odds would favor it being at least a little bit warmer than the average. Thanks for watching tonight all week long, and have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy this fantastic weather. I'll be back on Monday to talk about the unfortunate changes we have in store for next week. I'll see you then.